Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We had some fun, cool knickknacks that I've got this month. First off, I've got some reviews for y'all. The first one is actually a perfume. It's from Zara. It's called Oriental. And I love the way it smells. It has, a, again, a really unique smell. And it's not super fruity. It's honestly really amazing. The next one I have are, of course, by Bath & Body Works. So the first one is Fiji Sunshine Guava Tini, like a martini, and look how cool. It smells actually like the Victoria's Secret Tropic Heat. I've got the lotion of it, and it's amazing. It's like very warm, like the name and the color and the packaging has just been perfect for this. It's almost like summer, and you can also smell a little bit of coconut in it, not too much, because I don't like coconutty smells so i love that though and that's something that i reach more often than the next perfume i'm gonna show you none other than strawberry pound cake i love this it's sweet it's like a cake but in, with strawberry in it i had a candle of this already i didn't know they made the fragrances as well because a lot of the candles don't have the fragrance line so i was really surprised that they had this and it's amazing it smells like fresh strawberry cake like that cake it literally the name is just perfect and obviously they've done justice to the packaging and it's really great but i do reach for the fiji one more this one is actually not a fragrance but definitely helpful and life-changing for me uh it is i'm not gonna pronounce it because i don't know how to do it um but it is the dry shampoo and the flavor fruity and cheeky cherry fruity and cheeky cherry but it's really great for your hair like I in the monsoon season my hair is really frizzy so either it just poofs up but in this season particularly my hair is just getting greasier and greasier and greasier even when I wash it that day itself I'm gonna find my hair really really greasy so I think this is a lifesaver for me I did like the bee blunt one but I think this is way better because it's way lighter I feel the bee blunt one is a little bit heavier the bee blunt one I think a couple of years ago but I can definitely feel a difference in this one and I think I like this better so give this a try if you know that the next day you're not gonna wash your hair and you still want it to look fresh instead of just applying it before you leave the house or really you know in a hurry i would suggest applying this a night before and letting it stay in your hair and massage it really well so it sinks in and then you wake up with fresh hair and it's really amazing because you don't even see any white um, like white patches or whatever if you've missed any and it just blends in way better with your hair if you do it the night before so yeah give it a try and let's get into the books now i can't believe this is the sentence that i'm uttering right now about books because i never would have read a book in my life but if i can read it then i i'm sure other people are going to find it interesting as well especially if you're a potterhead so yeah so the first book i have is actually i don't it's not readable because it is a book cover if you can already see it um and if you know you know um, so this is a book cover. I can't read it because the, it's not an actual book. It doesn't have ocean making in it. This book is actually the property of Half-Blood Prince from Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. And that is one of my favorite movies, but it doesn't top Prisoners of Azkaban. This is the advanced potion making book and it has that reflective cover. And this is for display purpose only and I love it. It has like everything in it. And it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and I love to display it on my shelf, in my Harry Potter shelf. So yeah, I just realized I should have just made the title of this video Harry Potter stuff because um, honestly, the everything else is like done. It's all Harry Potter from here now. Uh, so the next book that I have is actually, you can read it. It is the Philosopher's Stones 25th edition. Uh, so this cover is actually, I think, the old illustration and they've redone it for 25 years completion of Philosopher's Stone. And if you're American, you can then Sorcerer's Stones, but that is stupid. I don't even know why you call it that. I, I hate everyone who calls Philosopher's Stone as Sorcerer's Stone. Like, come on. I've read it all in, I think, three days' time. This is how Dumbledore was supposed to look like. And this is how the Deluminator was supposed to look like as well in the book. But in the movie, obviously, it is the green tube thing um, which Ron gets from the will. Uh, so, yeah. It is amazing. It has some really great illustrations from J.K. Rowling by herself. So her illustrations of 
uh, McGonagall, Hagrid and Dumbledore holding Harry outside, Pivot Drive and a lot more. And also a very very interesting thing that I found out is they left one particular character from the movie not just one they've left a lot many you'll come to know in if you read the books that they've left is peeves and peeves i would say would have been an important character for the movie because he's mischievous so this was the illustration by jk rowling when she thought of how peeves was supposed to look like so here you go so yeah i have just entered another world reading the books and i got another book and you can't wait for this one. God, this is a heavy one, okay? So I only have two Harry Potter books because I'm reading it one by one. So once I finish this one, I'm gonna get the third book. Uh, so yeah, are you ready for this? I don't think you are, but this is just gorgeous. About this, it's very heavy. It is Harry Potter and the Chambers of Secret but it is the Mina Lima edition look at the spine of it it's so gorgeous and the back it is so heavy you have no idea how I'm holding this up um, it is a chunky book for sure uh, but other than that it has some great illustrations from Mina Lima Mina Lima is the person who did graphics for Harry Potter movies uh, and this is a book illustrated by her and can you see the foiling on this is just amazing like i love it i've just started reading it i just got this this morning let me give you a little sneak peek so the book is very great it actually has such amazing and cool illustrations when you can actually you know interact with it the worst birthday ever can you all see the photo and yes, Mrs. Dursley, Petunia and Dudley were supposed to be blonde because that's how the book describes them. And Harry was supposed to have green eyes because Lily had green eyes. But in the movie, it was different. Petunia and Dudley both had um, brown hair, but in the book, they had blonde. And yeah, there are just so many character differences which makes sense. Like Umbridge was not supposed to look like that. She was supposed to look even more like disgusting. Like I feel Umbridge did justice to the character in the movie because she was so hateful but in the book it was uh, the appearance was a little more hateful than the character and yeah but I still think the movie one did more than justice to the character so yeah not mad about that and I use this feather as a bookmark so you can see I've just gotten into it I don't know how much I'll read in one day because I am pretty fast reader when it comes to Harry Potter the next very cool thing that I have is this Hogwarts letter. Great. This Hogwarts letter and it's just like the one Harry gets it. It's actually sealed and as you can see it's blank from inside. The next really cool thing that I got was this pin or brooch as you would call it. And this is the Hogwarts pin because I didn't want a Gryffindor one because I don't know. I, I didn't actually mention my house. So the first time I ever took uh, the sorting hat, I got Gryffindor. And I've got Gryffindor uh, since then. But recently I took a different sorting hat, which was I think by the Wizarding World. I'm not really sure. But the official official one, I guess. I actually tried to answer like a Gryffindor so I would get Gryffindor but I actually got Ravenclaw then the next time I took it I just answered like myself and honestly and I actually got Gryffindor so because I am not choosing knowledge over glory I'm sorry <laughs> so I did um, try to answer like Gryffindor and one question I actually chose uh, knowledge instead of glory and anybody who knows me I would choose glory <laughs> So the second time I took it, I tried to be honest and I got Gryffindor. I was actually recently watching, I think it was Goblet of Fire, and I saw that Hogwarts one, Hogwarts one is way cooler than the house one. And I really like the Slytherin one, but I can't. With Ravenclaw, another fact is um, J.K. Rowling, when she thought of Ravenclaw, she didn't actually think of a raven as the mascot for Ravenclaw because she took raven... Um, meaning black like ravens are black in color so that's how she interpreted uh, raven and claw and it was actually an eagle um but in the movie i think they depicted it differently or what i have no idea 
um, but they chose a raven as a mascot. So that's quite different from the book version. Uh, so yeah, another interesting fact. The next one is my personal favorite because it is from Prisoners of Azkaban and that is, as you all know, my favorite movie. So this is Hermione's time turner and yes, the sand inside moves. Uh, this is obviously not the Noble Collection one, I got this off of Amazon uh, just to display it, I don't wear it. But the Noble Collection one actually turns, like this. these knobs actually turn. Uh, in the Noble Collection one, whereas this one you actually have to twist it out by your own hand. Um, but obviously we don't have Noble Collection stuff in India, so I settled with the Amazon one. The next one is actually I've got a couple of these, but they are stuck on uh, my shelf that I've made for Harry Potter. Um, my room of requirements. And this one I didn't stick it up because I could not and this was really pretty. So this is one of the Daily Prophets Sirius Black has broken from Mascaban uh, newspaper and it looks right at you. I love Prisoners of Azkaban and Sirius is actually an amazing character in the in the book as well as in the movie and I think it he did justice to his character and I think he's amazing so I love this so y'all can do this on your own this book by the way the one that I got um, the Mina Lima edition is actually from the visiting world um, so this one you might only be able to find on Amazon or anything like that because I've been through to the stores to actually see it uh, in person but I couldn't find any stores actually having these so yeah how freaking cute is this? So I've got Harry in his Quidditch outfit. I've got Malfoy in his Quidditch outfit. Hermione, who doesn't really look like Hermione because Hermione doesn't have blonde hair. Um, and my Malfoy just fell. Hold on. And she has a book. She has a robe. She doesn't... She might be Luna. I don't know. Um, but I'm just assuming that it is Hermione. And I'm going to change her hair and make it a little bit more brown. I do not have Ronald, which is very sad. Uh, and I have, okay, my Malfoy just wants to fall. Chambers of Secret, if you all remember that scene that he's asking Crab and Goyle about a gift. So I placed him besides a gift so he can be happy. And I've got another Harry with his little wand. And yeah, and these are really amazing ornaments. I do not want to put them on my tree though, because my tree is just too prestigious for these cartoony looking Harry Potter characters. If they were a little more realistic, I would have thought of putting them on my actual tree, but for now they go on this mini tree. So I have my own cauldron with some really pink, uh, nastily pink looking uh, potion spinning out of it. And what I originally thought was I would just put a dry ice in it so it would like start uh, smoking around, but the problem is I can't store just dry ice like that. Maybe this month or maybe in October I would find a piece of it to just make a video but I don't think I'm gonna keep it like that. So my lovely little cauldron to so my lovely little cauldron to make my potions in so I love this. So this is my love potion it, it is actually a perfume and a great smelling one actually. It smells amazing. But the bottle of it just made me think of a love potion. It's um, beautifully red and I just have a lit next to it and yeah, it is amazing. And honestly, the smell of it is actually really something that you'll fall in love with or you would expect a love potion to smell like. Although in the movie it said that love potion smells different to every person. I don't know, for me I feel like it'll smell like kerosene or paint because I love the smell of it but it's weird. What do you think? Comment down below what would your love potion smell like. And that was it for all of my haul and the things that I wanted to show you and my September favorites. So I hope you all enjoy watching this video and looking at some fun cool knickknacks that I've got this month. I hope you all enjoy watching this video. Please like and share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! For now.